Um, this is one that's like a form like lush, lush colors, you know, it's set in South America, wandering <coughs> under this tree. Here's another different one just to show some interior detail. Like these are just single panel pages, so the whole thing is really great. So day tripper. Going very differently, this is from Tiny Titans, um, a comic that I buy supposedly under the guise of giving it to my nine-year-old nephew, but I always read it. Tiny Titans has gone in an interesting direction. I've talked about Tiny Titans in here before. There's lots of great trade, pack or tra trade paperbacks, perfect for all juvenile collections. Um, they put a couple of the comic issues together, bright, colorful. This is for your younger siblings that want to read the same like things that their older teen siblings are reading in the superhero in the DC realm. So there's Batman, but there's Robin, and um, they've done an interesting thing this year that they've crossed over into the Archie universe. So they're the Archie, so it's like Jughead with Robin and it's really and and it's like that girl fighting for Archie, so it's kind of crazy. And I learned, which comics you know do teach you, I didn't know Josie and the Pussycats was part of the Archie world. Like, I only knew the, you know, long tail and the meters for hats, like, you know, just cartoons. So there was a crossover, and you can see, totally cute, totally colorful. They have a pet club. Everyone will like it, from your, from your nine-year-old nephew to your adult librarian. Staying on juvenile comics for a little while, um, Amulet is a series, three have come out, four is coming, I have a copy of one of them here, and this is um, the sort of story, children's story, like many lit stories in children, are about sort of family abandonment, losing the parent, their mother is lost, and they go into this realm of fantasy, and it's a um, you know, a spunky female heroine, so that's always good to have, and totally like adorable little sidekicks, and we own this in our juvenile collection too. So Amulet has three, um, it's like the Stonekeeper's Curse, and um, this one is the Cloud Searchers. Knights of the Lunch Table, the Dodgeball Chronicles. This takes Arthurian legend, so the lead character is Marty King, so he is able to open a locker that no one was able to open before, so you see all the tie-ins. <laughs> and his science teacher is Mr. Merlin, who kind of helps him. And the, of course, dodgeball is like, you know, that's your, your arena for showing who you are. So he sort of lies and says he's great at it, which he isn't. Um, but the Dodgeball Chronicles, he, um, there's this horde that plays dodgeball. So there's been a couple of these Knights of the Lunch Table. I did mistakenly put this as Knights of the Dinner Table on the handout as the lunch table. Um, sorry, I don't know what I was thinking. But um, it does cover, in a cute way, adolescence, bullying, you know, growing up. And so it's very colorful and cute. And this uh, that whole sidebar is my, on the handout is, uh, I think I put it maybe as books my nine-year-old nephew likes. Okay, moving on. 